Today's school children in Pleasanton will say hello to Meatless Mondays. The goal here is to make sure the kids and their families are aware of the benefits of a meat-free meal. CBS 5 reporter Kate Cogarin down in Pleasanton with more on what I guess is developing into a, an international movement, right, Kate? That is exactly right, Frank, and I was telling Michelle it also is going to develop into an international menu because starting today, Pleasanton school students or Pleasanton students will be able to have other options like Mediterranean dishes like hummus or grapes. But it may be new to Pleasanton, but this whole trend is not new at all. It started back in 2003 with or in John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Health. The goal was to cut meat intake by 15 percent, improve your personal health and the health of the planet. Now, Pleasanton school leaders say it could take a while for students to get used to, but they want to show that being healthy can also be delicious. We do have also some additional facts on Meatless Mondays. According to the Humane Society, it raises awareness about animal welfare and the health impacts of meat production. The Environmental Defense Fund says if every American skipped one chicken meal a week, the carbon dioxide savings would be the same as taking more than half a million cards off of U.S. roads. And polls show that 50% of people in the U.S. know about Meatless Mondays and one in five people take part in it. And we want to make note that the Pleasanton School District is not the first one to adopt this trend. Novato Unified actually was the first in the Bay Area. We're live in Pleasanton. Kate Cogier in CBS 5.